Mark Rogers, TV, the voice of college football, breaking down the USC's uh, spring game and the complete uh, USC spring session with Alicia Day Artolo from, and you can join her on uh, Reign of Troy. So catch the complete work there on Reign of Troy with Alicia right there. And let's leave it with this, Alicia. Um, I always like to stay ahead of the personnel breakdown and uh, who those players are in the next wave. So aside from the quarterbacks, aside from the known factors, who were some guys that uh, may have been special teams players, may have been freshmen or redshirt freshmen last year, guys that uh, we may know a name or maybe are completely under the radar that you would expect could make an impact or are counted upon to make an impact this fall? On on defense, I think uh, a guy who redshirted last year, in part because of injury, Isaac Taylor Stewart, he was a highly rated recruit uh, in last year's class and didn't get the opportunities that Elijah Griffin did but he has been obviously necessarily because they don't have very many numbers uh, in the secondary at corner. He's been the main man for USC this spring and has made great strides. He was looked very raw last year, uh, but very talented, very, very fast guy. And he, he looks like he's coming together. He's going up against Michael Pittman every day in practice. So he's getting the benefit of, of going up against a legitimate receiver every day in, in one-on-ones and, and the like. And I think he is going to be a guy that now you can look at and say, well, you might pencil him in as a starter uh, opposite Elijah Griffin, uh, I, I would assume. And he will need to be a reliable player in that secondary because the biggest question for USC on defense is the rebuilt secondary. A lot of new faces in there. And both corners are being replaced. Both starting corner positions are being replaced. And he is a guy that I think has had a very strong spring and an encouraging spring as far as his ability to step in, be a be a first year starter this year, and be able to hold his own uh, for USC's defense, which obviously he will need to do uh, on offense. Um, I think that I had mentioned earlier, Marquis Step broke off a big big run in the spring showcase. He's probably been the the star guy of spring camp in terms of. Uh, somebody who could have a really breakout year. He also redshirted last year and he's just a big bruising guy who maybe needs to work on the all around game that he brings to the table. That's the the thing we're hearing from Clay Helton. We're hearing from Mike James, the new running backs coach. Marquis Step needs to become a, a, a complete running back. But as far as the running side of it, he is a really stellar guy. I've had people uh, compare him to, to Lendell White and I, and you could argue he's a slimmer, faster sort of Lendale White. He brings that same mentality to the table where he's just going to try and run over you. And he could become a goal line, uh, if nothing else, because I really like Vivai Malapai. I, I really like Stephen Carr as USC's primary running backs. But I think Marquis Step could easily make a case for himself as USC's primary goal line uh, a t- a weapon at running back. And as a result, I think he could take on a pretty big feature for USC's offense uh, this coming season. Check out Reign of Troy and Alicia's work right there. Alicia De Artola joining us to talk USC football as the Trojans wrap up the spring session. Now we head toward August and see what they have for us in uh, finally determining this quarterback battle with JT Daniels clearly in the lead. Alicia, we appreciate you stopping by. Of course. Thank you for having me.